that's where this all happened. For K's sake, I thought it up. Right. Oh, I already found the life. Oh. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throck. It's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Well, aren't we just sassy? Evidence. Now more. I'm gonna have to go through this privately at some point. I'll go with that. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. I've said everything I know. I've said everything I know. Apparently you have, and that's all they programmed you with. Okay, well, let's go inside. That's the only thing I could figure out easily. I blame myself. Hang and fish everywhere. Eat our squishing under there. Yeah, why doesn't I don't know much about early 20th century fishermen's houses, but I doubt they were this gooey. I don't remember that much red blood out of a fish last time I cut one up. Hello, random bathtub with random pile of fish beside it. And an octopus. Oh, there's a big one. Hmm. That oh, was sad. I was hoping something cool would happen. Hey, okay. Nothing up here. Down here. Well, let's keep on going. Hey, that's where it came from with the squishiness. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. It does. The next little wood stove. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna look through your stiff. Crafting, yes, there's crafting in this. I think I'm about to investigate private. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Yeah, I hate when I sneeze in between the sheets, too. Of the book. Off my bed. Hey, why is this in such horrendous disrepair? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Or the wonderful half crustacean thing going on. <sighs> There's cup. Let's see what you find, newcomer. They already raided downstairs. What do you think about that? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Hey. Can you hear me? Ah. Uh, oh. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? Well, let's start with, who Tell are you? Yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was at or starve. Well, I guess during this time of prohibition and everything else, I learned every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside, on his business. Then he came back, carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds, and... Okay, my head began to burst. And he woke up, and... After that, I don't remember a thing, just... Dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me. Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Uh, I'll ask you, Kay. Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay, be with him. 
Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. What is this K you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. Do you know hey. how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. K, have mercy on Paul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir. Tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I? I don't know yet. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Yeah, obviously. Uh, want to keep on searching for a start. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Hey. Okay. Yep. Yep, I say he just took a little bit of a whacking. No. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. There you go, that. Something's going wonky. What am I missing? And there's something I'm missing here. Nothing. I think it wants me to do the Mind's Eye Theater. Mind's Eye Theater. Uh. Hey, let's hit stuff. Oh. Uh, How about me using that brick? There we go. That's what I like to see. I concur. Never just like this work. Recognize the, f the poor fellow beaten to a. Probably stop using that if I don't have to. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> Albert, Th Albert started history around him. Albert Thromorn spread some sort of psychic which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. Logical. Uh, there's the feud. And, oh. No. 
No, missed something. Will Hammond's testimony. That's his request. Yep, yep still going to the cray cray. Here, but someone tried to flee. There was a fierce fight here. It's See, that's happened first. What's happening? Take this, ape face. <laughs> yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Fishman brought in Carmore to his house left. When Albert woke up, he caused the upper stereo attack the rest of the fishmen. One of the fishermen shot him, and Albert fled through the hole in the wall. Not uh, just the fact that, you know, what in mouthers are, they're half human, half fish, and he got throgmorters, which like Neolithic rejects. Oh, there's a joke there. Uh, and the eight people and the fishermen people... And like each other, and then they ran away. So, Mind Palace. Throg Morton is about to feud. Have blood and wounded. Evil. Throg Morton was dangerous. Albert Throg Morton was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I'm still not here in this world turd. Back to the Mind Palace. They seem like they're all three connected. Oh. Hey, okay, Albert. I can track down Albert. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the flight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. Okay. You might argue we apparently jumping wasn't advisable. Who knew? Where are we going, Bubby? Ah, don't hit things. Hit things in RPGs. Turn this off for a second. So the fisherman pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Hmm. 
Thank you, spooky. He's a real people. Ooh, the warehouse. Housing of wares. Oop. What a fine. Between Jack and Diddley. Oh, this is trippy. Not in a good way. Oh, it makes the sit kind of. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. <coughs> I'm off your pocket. Don't pull it out. One say no. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know you, but know you, but I am underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the place. Oh, we can call him the fuzz now. Okay. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter. Mm. The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. There we go. Rather not say I didn't, but I shouldn't have come here. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Well, well, I found him. Don't want to face any more. Oh, that sounds like more things. Oh, there's all squishy sounds, and I don't like them at all. One fatal round through the okay. forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Nothing? Nothing? Hey, nothing worthwhile. Who might argue? Okay, I'll go to my mind palace. This Mouth of Lewis has people suffered at the hands of Tom Morton's. That could be the reason why they hate him. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of reasons. Lewis pursued. Wounded. Obviously, Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was throwing one rather and just drive him off. Okay. Kill Everthar may be hiding in the bar. Ah, uh, makes a lot more sense. I don't like hanging out with the dead body. Go away now. I am probably gonna find to do that. That is the wonkiest creation of a house ever. These are all nightmare squirrel turds. Everybody's crazy but me. I feel like I'm running in the wrong direction. I 
I am definitely right in the wrong direction. Maybe I should be smart and check my map. That would be too easy. About five seconds away from checking the map. Oh, no, this looks familiar. I don't need my map anymore. Okay, let's just check the map. Her house. Okay. There we go. I are smart. I are baboon. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this finished up. Uh, talk to him, and I'm probably gonna call it a night for a little bit. Uh. That's your son's will. I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh, my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Um... Mr. Throgmorton, now, I've encountered something, uh... What? I don't have all day. Some, uh, unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I like that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can, keep your weapons handy. Oh, well then, on that note, we should just... Mr. Do Thorne summer. Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah. I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. My condolences, Mr. Thorborn. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. I can't be sure yet, honestly. Not the character, at least. I have some suspects, but I need to investigate further. What kind of private eye are you? A thorough one. When I find him, I'll tell you. Fine. No one leaves the port until then. We can leave the port find before. Find that dirt bag, and I'll help you with anything you need. Well, that's my sassy bit of conversation. Um, if you liked it so far, I'm gonna leave it here. It's been about 15 minutes. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll probably be uploading this on my YouTube channel too. Uh, True Generic Gamer. Um, I'll be continuing this. It's interesting. A lot of exposition. I hope it. Out a little bit as it goes, but after, but so far I've enjoyed it. That note, guys, have a wonderful night. I'll see you in the funny pages.